Okay, so after all that, the most important thing that hopefully you've got from that is to find the angle between two straight lines. You need to know the gradients. It's based on the gradients of the two lines. And we'll see the um, slight variation to that when we're finding an angle between two curves as opposed to two straight lines. So let's have a look at this first example. It says find the acute angle, that will just be our theta, between the lines 2x minus 5y minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 5y equals 0. Now, you know, there's that concept of taking a very good look at the information given in the question here um, a, applies he, sorry, applies here just as much as it did in like proving those identities because when you look at this hopefully you do recognize these as straight lines hopefully everyone sees this 2x minus 5y minus 3 as just an writing the straight line in the form at ax plus by plus c equals naught and the same here ax plus by c is not is equal to naught we really need to rearrange these equations before we can get their gradients so you can see there that i've done that so i've just taken the 5y over but if 5y is over there then it's 5y is 2x minus 3 5y is 2x minus 3 divide through by 5 and we get that the gradient one is 2 on 5 for the other equation, 5y is x, y is equal to x on 5, gradient 2 would be 1 fifth. Why am I seeking out the gradients? Because the question asked me to find the acute angle between lines. So you start with your equation, tan theta is the absolute value of m1 minus m2, 1 plus m1, m2. And, um, Please do whatever you need to do to be able to remember that. I, like I said before in the previous video, it might be that you um, know about that the um, form reference sheet has the tan of um, alpha plus beta on it, but we really want alpha minus beta because. If you understand where the theta comes from and that remember that angle sum of a triangle then we know that this is needs to be alpha minus beta which then was a minus in the top and a plus in the bottom these are really easy marks to score in the HSC um, if you've learnt the formula now that's not a difficult concept to learn a formula that they're easy marks so you can see I've substituted two fifths minus one fifth, one plus two fifths times one fifth. Now we want the tan inverse of two fifths minus one fifth is obviously one fifth. I know that this over means, uh, I'll do it the long way, divided by, and one plus this product is two on twenty five. So 1 plus 2 on 25, which is 27 on 25, we know that when, and absolute value is not going to really apply anymore because this is going to be a positive, 1 on 5, 25 on 27. So we want the tan inverse of whatever 5 on 27 is, which you can see I've got on the calculator there, tan inverse 5 on 27 which is equal to 10.49, I'll say 10.5. I'll just clarify that. You can see here on the calculator that it is set to degrees, so this answer is in degrees. Now I guess if um, the question had asked you to give the, find the angle in radians, yes, you can see now I've gone to radians. And still done tan inverse, 5 on 27, and I'm getting 0 0.18 radians. Let's have a look at example 2. So you're given lines y equals mx plus 2 and y equals 5x minus 9. 
So we're given the equation of two straight lines. But it's in a nice format. They intersect at an acute angle whose tangent is 2 on 5. So the tangent of the angle is 2 on 5. Find possible values of m. m. So really what's this question asking? This question's really asking you to find a gradient. m in this spot here is a gradient. Now, and the other unusual thing is we're told what the tan of the angle is. Now, we sort of learnt this formula thinking we would be finding the angle between two lines. This question's not asking you to find an angle. This question's asking you to find a gradient. So, of course, because it sits here in this exercise, you know that you're going to use the formula. That's not the case in an exam, in an assessment task, in the HSC. These questions are sitting al uh, alone. How are you going to know in a situation like this which question, which formula to go to? You've really got to think about what you've got. Uh, yeah, basically all the information that you're given and um, what the question's asking you to find. So I'm going to pause the video, write that up and then come back and talk about it. So there we have it, that line one in that form and we've got that the gradient would be m. Line 2 the gradient would be 5 we know that the tan of the angle is 2 on 5 we're finding the gradient. Now even the fact that I've started off with this m1 and m2 here means I've already made the connection to the formula. How, and like I said, it's a little bit of a false situation because you know that you're going to use that formula in these questions throughout this exercise. But again, try to stop and think why is why are we using this formula? If you think about it, you've got two straight lines talking about lines intersecting, and maybe even that's just enough. Intersection of two straight lines. You're learning a um, formula for finding the angle between the intersection of two straight lines and it talks about the gradients. These are the things that you really have to be confident with so that when you read a question and it's a little bit different you will still know to make the connection to the appropriate formula. So you can see there that I've written up the formula. I've substituted what I know. Tan theta is 2 on 5 is the absolute value of m minus 5 over 1 plus 5m. Now we have to think about what I've created. On every line, just be guided um, into your next line of working by what you have in front of you there. So what do I have? I have an equation. My unknowns are m. It's a special sort of a, an equation. It's an absolute value equation. And so we've got to recall how we solve an absolute value equation. So we're just going to go back to basics of solving absolute value equations. We know that we can't solve it with the absolute value sign there. So we're going to create two situations. One is we can remove the absolute value sign and say that it's just m minus 5 over 1 plus 5m. And that is equal to 2 fifths. The other situation is going to be, and I'll do it over here, got a bit of space, is when we've got the negative of what's inside there, m minus 5 all over 1 plus 5m, and that can also be equal to 2 fifths. So I'm going to just pause the video and solve these two equations and see what value of m I get, we get. Okay, I hope I haven't made a mistake there. 5m minus 25, 2 plus 10m. Take the 5 over and subtract it. 5m, subtract the 2's minus 27. So we get minus 
m is minus 27 on 5, which is negative 5 and 2 fifths. You can see I've drawn a line here because the gradient of one of the lines was definitely 5. So I've drawn what would be a gradient positive 5, fairly steep, say that is 5. So what does a line, and maybe I'll do it in green, where would that line go? Negative 5, and, so it's going in the negative direction now, but it's almost equally as steep. So let's say it's something like that. So we've now got gradient is negative 5 and 2 fifths. Now, the acute angle here would be theta. Now, how can we have a second answer and such that um, we're going to have the same angle, theta, between the two lines? Well, you, you work at, um, sorry, you can see I've taken now, I've taken the absolute value away and put the minus outside. Now that's only one minus and I've distributed it over the numerator, so it's minus m plus 5 over 1 plus 5m, hopefully I've done that right, minus 5m plus 25, 2 plus 10m, um, bring that across, it'll be 23, take that across, it'll be 15, so we've got this 23 on 15, which is 1 and 8 fifths. Now, I'm going to do that one in red, and what do you know about a line like that? It's fairly... Um, has a fairly small gradient and it's positive. So this was a very steep positive and then we've got a um, not so positive, uh, not so steep but still positive. So what it's saying is you could also have the gradient as 1 and 8 on 15 and yeah you can see the, that the angle here could possibly be approximately the same size as that one. So what it's showing you in fact is that there are two values that m could be such that you create equal sized angles of theta where the tan of that theta was 2 on 5 so these angles have to be the same but there were two possible um, lines that you could draw to create your theta so you've got two possible values for m. I'll stop the video there and you can get started on 14e.